Why can't I just make a move? Honestly, this is the one part that's held me back from getting physical and romantic with girls since I broke up with my ex two years ago. She was toxic and made me feel ashamed of my sexuality. Basically made me feel like sex and physicality is in some way violating or wrong if done early in a relationship. And that I was just a horny, shallow guy who used her for sex. Something flipped inside me, and now I have so much fear around getting physical for the first time. I'm comfortable approaching girls, I'm comfortable asking them out, I'm comfortable having sex, I'm comfortable dating long term, etc. It's literally just a transition from talking to cuddling or talking to kissing that is so scary for me. I almost assume that women never want it, and no matter how many signs they throw at me, I just never feel assured enough to go in. I'm also just not very smooth with it anymore. So I'm afraid of fucking up and making a fool of myself. How in God's name do I overcome this fear? Good question. So your ex and the way that she responded to you and the way that that relationship ended planted the seeds of this fear within yourself by making you feel ashamed of your own sexuality. And then, like you said, making you feel like you violated her or that it was wrong to be done so early in the relationship and even accusing you of being shallow. Those seeds from that ex from two years ago have planted roots within you and have grown and have caused you to become so much more averse and so much more fearful about making that transition. And so how do you overcome that? So you're aware of where it came from and that's a good thing. It's, that fear and what she put into you, what she said is wrong. You know, there's nothing wrong with becoming more physical earlier in a relationship. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Just the, your partner just has to be receptive to it. Your ex obviously was not, and then use it as, use it to, 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 to vilify you. And that's her shit, not yours. And so, you know, from a practical sense, you know, like you said, you're comfortable asking people out, having sex, but how did the transition from talking into cuddling, you know, one thing that's very common nowadays is to go with the more blunt asking kind of thing of like, you know, asking, you know, Hey, you know, you know, can I hold your hand? You know, you know, do you want to sit, you know, sit up beside me, that kind of stuff. You can go that way, which tends to be a little more popular at the moment from in the whole PC crowd at the moment of being more proactive with consent. The other thing too would be if that's not your jam, that's kind of a newer, newer age kind of thing to do. If that's not your jam, then you could just, hmm, how do I want to say this? It's literally just that transition from talking to cuddling or talking to kissing. That is so scary to me. And so So part of, okay, so part of that is retraining yourself in the situation. So it's you needing to read the cues coming from the woman that you're with and seeing if she's receptive. So that's going to that's be stuff like, is her body pointed towards you? So if you're sitting side by side, so she's sitting next to you, you're sitting here. Is she, is her body leaning towards you or her knees pointing towards you in that kind of way? Is she leaning in your direction? If she's sitting across from you, is she leaning forward, you know, or is she, is she leaning back? Is she looking away? Those are great forms of body language cues of if she's into it and if she's not. Another great thing, like a transitionary thing as well, is when you're talking to her, And this is obviously someone that you're on a date with or something like that. When you're talking to her, when you're saying things, once in a while, see how she responds to you touching her someplace that is very non-threatening. That might mean touching her hand or touching her arm. I wouldn't say the leg that's kind of forward. The hair is also very forward. And to see like, 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 you know, how would, how would you do that? Like, um, oh my God, there's a funny story that I, I want to tell you. And then like you reach out, like almost like you're bringing her closer in that kind of way, you're in that kind of touch. 
but very light. You're not grabbing her. You're not holding her and see how she responds. If she pulls away, then that's your cue of like, nope, nope, nope. She's not into, she's not in that spot either. So that's, that's, those are the kind of the two avenues that I would probably recommend. You can either go with the more direct, you know, asking for consent to go to the next step forward, or you can start with like, you know, moving, you know, paying attention to her body language, moving closer to her a little bit, and then starting with light touch in very non-threatening areas. So once again, it'd probably be the hand, it'd be the arm, or it, like if you're walking together, like on a sidewalk or something, it would be her upper back. Relatively, you know, touch from a man already from a woman's perspective can be perceived as threatening, which is why you need to be very careful with where you start. And those three spots are are pretty, they're non-sexual areas typically. You know, the lower back is more sexual. The leg is a lot more sexual. The face is a lot more intimate. You want to kind of ease into it, that kind of thing. Even just asking, to, you know, even just trying to hold her hand. If she doesn't want, if she pulls back, you know that she's not into it either. So once again, you know, either ask or play with body language and just and pay attention to that. And with time, you'll start moving through and, and getting more comfortable with getting back into it. Because the stuff that happened with your ex, that was her problems, not yours. And it's about beginning the process of letting it go. Thanks so much for watching that clip. And if you'd like to watch the entire video, click over here. Just click here and you can enjoy even more content just like this. Thanks so much.